Hey everybody, this is Kuin Pack with Let's Play Gibbous a Cthulhu Adventure. And Don has gotten himself into a situation, but he's also gotten himself out of the situation before it actually has started. And I'm still unaware if that is Guybrush Threepwood's VA or not. But either way, we're gonna blast them. Sorry, you don't get to talk your lines. You're gonna get rocketed. Oh, no knife? Sweet dreams, star lover. It's over for you, star cult man. Well, let's go see if he's alive. I mean, we didn't kill him, right? No, we... Oh, oh my god, we caused a lot of damage, though. Hey, hey! I'd gotten lucky with the fire extinguisher. Must not have triggered it completely. It still had a lot of... Huh, fire in it. It was just as hard to control as before. But I had a feeling... I could put it to good use one more time. I'd, I'd... Cool, let's take it. Nice. One more time. We can shoot him. Oh, Brother Gleam, you're dead. Brother Gleam is sleeping off a particularly demanding day. Oh, um, his legs are in a very bad spot. You'll make it. Don't worry. Sleep tight, little cultist. Don's watching over you. Yep. I don't want to disturb the guy. He's getting his beauty sleep. But man, did he smash up a bunch of these, uh, displays? It's a heap of astronomy-related instruments. Wait, there's a piece of wire sticking out from it. Oh, look at that, it's a, a piece of wire! a looking piece of wire. Did I mention it looks particularly useful? Uh, yes, yes, you have, Don. I think I'd rather just pick it up. Yeah, take the wire. Nice, a wire! That, I mean, you know where this is going with this. Let's look at the circular sinister star window. Outside. Looks like the seal of Orichalcos. It's all about stars with these people for some reason. They're cultists, Don. No way to reach it. Oh, look, a hatch. Looks like a hatch heading to an upper floor. Wonder if it's locked. I mean, what do you think? Going up the hatch. Damn it, how'd I know it'd be locked? I know, only after you climb the ladder, that is when you figure out things are locked. It's an enticing ladder to some upper level. Hmm. <laughs> Blower level, turn five times. It looks very, very climbable. The ladder. Climb that ladder. Okay, it's just gonna tell Damn me it. the door is locked. Door's locked. Can't do anything with it. Not a particularly interesting starry cult desk, if you ask me. Really now? Not a particular. I'm not into this desk at all. Uh, a crack surface. Got a serious structural hazard over here. Looks like a healthy crack at it might spell its doom. I'm gonna need something to whack it good if I want out this way. I mean, don't you have something, something that can whack it real good? Swung like mad to bring that wall to the ground. Uh, I, I mean, Don, you have a, uh... Right then and there, I thought of placing the fire extinguisher on the desk so as to help steer it and set it loose on the cracked surface of the wall. I could make tracks from this place and never look back. It came to me then that doing so would make a mighty commotion, though. And these starry jamooks would be all over me like jamooks? a shot. I haven't seen jamooks being used in a sentence in a long time. On the other side of that ladder. No. There I stood. A Joe with one foot in a mystery and the other missing a shoe. They dragged me here against my will, and I wasn't going to leave without first finding out just what the hell they were all about. I had to think of something else. Oh. Oh. Okay, so he won't do it, which is fine. Let's look at the standard. I think I can reach if I leap. Only stars and no stripes. All right, grab it. I thought I'd say this, but I don't think I'm heavy enough. Me or the stuff I'm lugging around. Okay, so he needs to get heavier. Ooh, barricaded doors. Huge, sturdy door. It's barricaded from the outside. It won't let us in. Uh, or let us out. It's locked. Of course. Locked. Meaningless. Barricaded from the other side. Makes sense that they'd shut me in here. But it seems that they don't think too highly of that gleam guy either. No, they left him to die. <laughs> they clearly left him to die. What do we got? Oh, books! Also, floor! What the? And look at the floor. 
A little color twist to the classic checkered temple floor. That's nice, I guess. It's really, really shiny. I'm using it as I speak. We are already manually operating the floor. I get you, Don. I understand. Of a lot of literature. Most, if not all of it, star-related. Figures. They are in obsessed cult. Got what do you expect? The stars, I guess. Stars can help you lead you to the old ones. Life. The constellations are all important. Never doubt the constellars. What do we look for? Uh... Apparently I need more weight. We need more weight. We need to get more weighty. Gotta be something in here, right? I'm sorry, I... Ugh, he won't pick up the shoe. He's gonna be sock-footed the I entire rest of the game. Unless I'm at home in my robe with a stiff drink, a Maurice Ventricle record, and a searing fear of the telephone. Okay, but... Alright, that means we gotta go... Hmm. Yeah, but... Not in my pocket. Oh, okay. I don't have to... I don't need to clean the wire. What do you need to clean, Dawn? Dawn, what are we doing? Dawn, please. Right then and there, I think. No. Okay, no. Seems like a good idea, using the extinguisher to crack open the hatch. But that idea ain't but a few think ticks away from imagining that can bouncing all over the room at pressure. Filling the place with cloud and powder and knocking the Joe's lights all the way out. Okay, so that's not a good way to open the door, but maybe... There's no visible lock to pick on it, so... No. Oh. Trying to pick the lock won't help. It's barricaded from the other side. Damn it. Do you want to hold this? He's got enough of that for a while. I don't want to do... Okay, okay, okay. That's not going to work either. I don't see a reason to use this wire on the standard. But why not? Knowledge need not be opened in so unorthodox a manner. Alright, what if I use the fire extinguisher? Star literature ain't that hot. <laughs> All right, clean it. I'm not cleaning these lunatics' dusty tomes. All right, how about we clean this guy? No need for bandages. He'll be just fine. Okay, but what about the wire? Nah, I'll just let him rest. He's had a tough day. Where's his knife? Where is his knife? This desk doesn't need wiring. Sure it doesn't. Sure. I could scratch away at it for the honest part of a decade, taking the dust to the plink yard in my shoes and hiding my progress under a summer shot of Gabriella de Gordon. Holy and shit, Slimbaugh. he's going on I'm an sure anecdote. They'd find me gone, with only good old Gabriella to tell them of my redemption. I ain't got the years though, or a poster of Gabriella. Jesus, buddy, friend, guy, just punch the surface. I need something stout. Wonder what I'm missing. Oh, the rail, maybe. Well, that's nice. A little extra safety is always appreciated. This rail is really, really greasy. Either they lubricate it, or these star jamooks are some serious sebum seeping slime balls. Ooh, it could be either or, man. It goes from floor to ceiling. Something could slide up and down on it without much difficulty. Nope. Okay, but if it's slimy... Cleaning it won't do a damn thing. Damn it. Cleaning it won't... Wait a minute. I think I'm overestimating this poor rag. Oh. Ugh, oh, how do I get heavier? I believe my way out is through the cracked surface in the wall. Just need the right kind of tool the right kind of properties that it is very hard and swingable i know i should focus on my escape but that hatch leading up there god god to god nowhere is too tempting to ignore what are these starry kooks up to what are they hiding up there must be a way to get past the metal hatch tried to mess with the starry flag but it seems i can't break it loose i don't see a reason to use this wire on 
I was obviously out of my element. That made no sense whatsoever. Oh, come on. I'm gonna rag on that. Makes no sense to me. I think... What can make me heavier? Don won't operate the desk. Okay, so obviously I'm still missing something that can be operated somewhere else. Distracted is the last thing I Stop distracting me! I, I know, I know. I ain't putting on slippers unless I'm... Okay, okay, okay. Nothing there that's any use to me. And I can't pick that up. Forget how to do this next part. It's been a while, so apologies if I'm just wasting time. Like, I forget how to open the hatch. Damn it. How'd I know it'd be locked? Hmm. Yeah. But not in my pocket. No way to steer it that way, and it wouldn't help either. He's... Star-related literature ain't that hot. Wait, do I gotta go back? To, but the ramp isn't selectable. Yeah, see, I can't put it on the ramp. Nothing to extinguish. It's not the uh, overheaty, explodey type. Huh. I don't want to throw it out. That wall does not look knockdownable. Knockdownable is a word I didn't They're expect ugly. out of you right now. Not to that extent. Nope. Wait a minute. I don't want to stain it with the stuff. Oh, wait a minute. I just lose it in there. Look, we were doing so well, and now I'm like lost. I don't. I'm missing an item somewhere. I believe. I guess he wants me to combine the extinguisher with the floor? The floor is not lava. I repeat, the floor is not lava. Or... It's pretty shiny already. Nope. No, I need it. An unassuming small piece of wire that could come in real handy. Okay, but he says not in his pockets. Where do I put the wire? This desk doesn't need Knowledge need not be I could throw this piece of wire up there, but then I'd be out a useful piece of wire. Okay. So it's gotta be the rail, right? Alright. Made a nice little sliding hook thing. Halfway there. Okay. See, I wasn't thinking for a second. It only came to me just now. Look there how many minutes go. it took for I'm me to figure that out. A red hot ram rocket ready to go. Ram rocket. I'm a natural born handyman. Oh, I sure you sure are. DIY Ram has never been so fun. Fire. Dead. I hope I've done you proud, Mac Viper. Yep, let's go upstairs and see what's going on. What could the cultist have inside? Oh, it's one of these. Oh, my favorite. A cannonball atop latticework. A pretty martial-looking cannonball suspended somehow above that glowing rock by some order of matchstick engineering genius. Yeah, because they'll all push against it's each other and hold the weight of the cannonball. Deterrent to anyone wanting to snatch that purple thing below. Yep. It looks really heavy. Like, really heavy. Could be good it's for smashing a wall. firmly by the matches structure. Quite impressive. And unmovable. A delicate and intricate latticework of what looked to be matches, surrounding some jagged, shimmering stone and somehow supporting okay, a awesome kind of ball what looks like it was made to bring down battleships. I realize how crazy that sounds, yet here it is before me. Yes, it is here in front of you, the latticework. It's made out of matches. Matches. Okay, yeah, but will you touch it? Matches. Hmm. Matches. You really like saying matches. Biting my lip. 
Eyes half closed with anticipation, I flicked my finger at one match, then another. The apparently fragile construction proved to be impervious to my attempts at unbalancing it. There was damn good engineering when you needed it the least. The structure would not collapse, no matter what. Huh. Interesting. So it looks like we can't this get out of that like stone that way. Some kind of diary or log of some kind. But there will be a well, way to get the stone and the cannonball because we need new. both. Operate the di- oh. Whoa. That seemed to make a lot of things happen at once. All right, let's see now. Yes. October 13th. It's so hard to get accustomed to the sickening stench of this dreadful fishing town, but apparently it's important to him that we establish our base here, so we just take it. Decorating coming along nicely. No end to the work. A lot there is of no end to the work. Off. That is a line like that is actually a big line. Ends. Let me skip ahead a bit. Let's see. July 6th. We're... All accustomed to the stench, it's probably imbued in everyone by now. Summon the haunter, and he came in a flickering form of a tall, swarthy man with skin made of ebony. Ignored my words and asked for the book, then disappeared upon my answer. We must find it, no matter what. July 13th. His incomplete form is frustrating. Must find the book. We must find it. He's obsessed. Idiot, bright, but the hatch open. Also, every one of these entries is a 13th of, that is a Friday. What did the fool think would happen? We don't even bother storing their ashes in the urn anymore. Just leave them there as a reminder to anyone stupid enough to try that again. August 6th. Sister Halo's match to copy proved to come in handy. Praise the haunter. I could scarcely believe my senses when at last she finalized the structure and brothers bright and clean dropped the cannonball on it. Not only did it not destroy what she built, but it lodged itself in the circular space above the stone and is exerting such pressure on the lattice work that you can take a shovel to it and it won't cave in. Awesome. Good to have Triangles are powerful. For a change. Only she and I know how to breach it and get to the stone, so that should at least keep our numbers from dropping. August 7th. Private investigator making waves in Darkham looking for leads on the book. Might be a dark blessing in disguise. We just stay on his tail and track him to see if he digs up any leads. The book? The Necronomicon? Is that me they're talking about? August yeah, buddy. 13th. Rejoicing! It's very possible that the hostess's fetch dog has sniffed out the book. Time to return and go for the prize ourselves. Hostess. Why did that sound familiar? Anyway, that crazily angled stone. I wanted it. If only to get back at these star-obsessed maniacs. Cool. All right. We need to get through the lattice work, and only they know how to do it. Let's look at a bunch of other stuff first. Kind of a cult scratch. Looks to symbolize that shine rock on the pedestal. It's uh, making me a little uneasy, if I'm, I'm being honest. I examined the darkened stone altar that held the trapezohedron. Creepy thing. Trapezohedron? How do you even know that word? It. it looked as though it had been subject to intense high temperature conditions more than once. I shuddered at the thought of it being sacrificial. Sacrificial altar, huh? It's just a drawing. Eerie, but a drawing. Right, right, right. Fine dust surrounded it on all sides, gently blown to and fro by the draft coming from the open hatch. No idea how they got it up here, but I'm not budging it. That much is obvious. Sure, what about this telescope? An immense rusty telescope hanging into. So we must be in an observatory, which would make sense for star cultists. Its most interesting feature: a big convex magnifying lens. Ooh, that looks good. It's too high for me to reach. At the moment. It's the third book in a row. The cover consists entirely of a weird symbol. I guess it must have some importance to these starry loons for them to display it like this. Who's going to click on all the things in the it's room the before he goes and solves the puzzle? And you There's know he's going to keep clicking on stuff. In. That's about it. I guess it must have some importance to these starry loons for them to display it like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll read the books in a moment. I gotta go back to the, the first, first one. book though. in a row. An arcane symbol adorns its cover. I guess it must have some importance to these starry loons for them to display it like this. I've opened it at its bookmark. The stone from the stars is a window on all time and space. It is within it that the haunter sleeps while the yellow sun reigns, 
and it is from its circular gate that the haunter's incomplete form rises when the words are spoken. Nor shall he ever rise in his true form until the forbidden book be by his side. No end to the work. No end to the work. It's the second. I've opened it at its bookmark. It is known that touching the stone from the stars might cast upon a mortal being a the mark, mark of the, the haunter. haunter. But none should do it unless prepared to face his cold black flames and turn to ashes and dust. No living soul can know whom the haunter chooses to mark and grant vision beyond time and place. No end to the work. Uh, certainly there is no end to the work. Uh, obviously, you need to constantly I've work to get food mark. on the table. But the butcher is the end of all, and the followers... <laughs> Although of the that's not what they mean. The threshold must keep the slaying one from ever setting eye or laying hand upon the book. The butcher brings but... The rest is unreadable. The butcher? Huh. That's no. Whoa! Whoa! We've activated the ancient mechanism, and now we can reach the lens! Looks to be quite powerful. It's a magnifying lens. The convex type. I don't think I can pry it out with my bare hands. Okay, okay. I'll need to take a closer look first. I don't think I can... Wow. Huh, that's a little weird that he says that. Wow. An immense rusty telescope. It's most interesting feature. Okay, so they those reactivated. Wouldn't know what to do with it. Intense beam of light! These dummies tried their best to tear the windows up, but an intense orange light symbolically shines through. Yeah, it's weird that it's only it over the altar. It's a crazy matchstick structure in a warm glow that strikingly contrasts with the whole starry death cult thing. Dust motes in the light and everything. Nice. These dummies. Yeah, I know I don't get enough vitamin D, but this is not the time or place. You bet your ass it ain't. Oh, look, an urn. The inscription above it says... Here lie in ashes, all brothers and sisters foolish enough to think that the stone from the stars chose them to be marked by the haunter. If the inscription is to be believed, those are human remains in there. Yeah, they keep getting obliterated by the stone. There's no use for former cultists, in ash form or not. A drawer! There's a drawer underneath this urn thing. It doesn't look like it has a lock or anything. It should be openable. Inside the dusty drawer, there was one solitary rusty spoon. Unwritten private investigator wisdom says you never know when you could use a rusty spoon. Maybe to pry out a lens. Let's go use the spoon and get ourselves a lens. I carefully place the spoon in between the lens and the metal cover. You ever use spoons to pry open jars or things like that? I have before. Voila! The lens was now mine. We now have a lens. Kind of dirty. I got this convex lens from that huge telescope. It's filthy. Blech. Which is why we need to fix it. Fix it, fix it, fix it. Yeah. Watch this. This is going to be great. Bye, matchstick structure. Wow, the stone barely even did anything with that one. Sweet. Hey, what's up? Shining trapezedron. Strange, self-illuminating trip, 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 trap, mm, weirdly angled rock thing. It is a trapezohedron. Its placement and the highly original security system tell me that this dingus must be of some critical importance to these starry knowledge jamooks. It could be red or purple or red and purple at the same time. Hard to tell. It's kind of like that in-between magenta. Shiny. I'm not the kind of Joe what believes in the woo-woo, but this thing gives me a tough run of the heat. <laughs> Sorry, that line got to me. While at the same time, kind of calling to me. It's almost well, like you're going to be marked greedy, by the haunter. Investigator pause on that crazily angled stone. I'm going to look at the cannonball. I think I can pick it up now. I think... Hey, I mean, hey, why not? Okay, cool. We have a cannonball. What else are we missing here? Oh, we should look at these before we go. Looks like look at me tried to before you go, go. Failed miserably. 
They were using the tar to tar up windows. Nah, what am I saying? They're completely bonkers. Yeah, they're eating the tar. I've played with tar enough for today. Sounds good. What are we missing? Nope, nothing. Take the trapezoid. Oh, a cutscene! You know, everybody got ashified when they picked that up, but not him, so... You noticed, he didn't get ashified when he picked it up. I most certainly did not burst into cold black flames. So much for this numbskull cult's credibility. It did feel, uh, weird. 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 Hey, look what we have in our inventory it's now. crazily angled rock I lifted off these star heads. I hope I'm wrong, but I feel like it's somehow working on me. Damn. Damn! Just carrying a big old cannonball around. Don't tell my chiropractor. Nah, don't worry. You're safe with us, Don. Mr. Katype is going to break his way out of here with a cannonball, by the way. Now that we have no qualms about it, let's get out of here. That would require a cannon. What? Oh, wait, but I'm heavy enough for this. I am now heavy enough to pull this All right, off the now wall. One cannonball heavier. Let's see what happens. Well, we've definitely done something. That was a first and a last. So what happened to the cannonball? It's the former standard. No, it's just a flagpole. It uh, looks really useful. All right, let's get the flagpole. Oh, look at that. Anyway, you boil it. That right there is your standard garden variety pole. Anyway, you... Watch this. It would almost fit, but it'd be too loose. I need it firmly stuck in there. There is an answer. It's called using tar. I'll tar and feather anything, including this ancient object of great Cthulian power. Watch this. Let's get this stick, uh, sticky. Sticky keys, my enemy. The enemy of my enema. Here you go. Holy shit, he has created one crystalline hammer. Sledgehammer. Oh. I made this bad boy out of a crazy rock from the stars and a sticky stick, as the kids might say. I've gone hard in the paint, or something. Hard in the paint? My god, break this. I don't want to smash that. Break this. I could smash it, but it's too high up. Ugh. Come on now, Don. Work with me. I know who we should smash. Hey, Gleam, you want to smash? Nah, I'll just let him rest. He's had a tough day. All right, break the wall. Take your sledgehammer and smash There's it to bits. One thing I want to say before I do it. They can give... Okay, so we have options. They who can give up the essential liberty to, no... to, uh, to obtain a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety... Freedom is what we do with what is done to us. Those who deny freedom to others deserve it not for themselves, or the only way to deal with the unfree world is to become so absolutely free that you, your very existence is the act of rebelling. We're doing that one. Hammer time. Thank God he said hammer time. Whoa! Holy shit! Uh-oh. That's gonna cause problems. I mean, done. Don, you fool, what have you done? Oh no, he's activated the Haunter. Well. Chapter 3, everybody. Fishmouth. Fishmouth? I'm sorry, it's Fishmouth. What the? Uh oh. Alright, you two, here we are. Ugh. Just call me when you need my services. I'm getting as far away from this dump as possible. See yous. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, man. So, here we are, kitty. Fishmouth. <sighs> Is this foul, rotting sea life odor in any way mouth-watering to you? Please. It's sickening, and I'd literally rather be anywhere else right now, but we've got a job to do. Let's find Finman's before we revisit my lunch and dinner. Oh yeah, sure, sure. This just looks like the uh, Toxic Crusades. Girl and her dog. 
Citizen Brigade. Slug. Oh God. And doors. We got doors. We got do we got doors. We got buildings. Let's look at the buildings. Moldy old buildings receding into darkness, and everything smells horribly of fish and fish things. Ugh. Well, yeah, they said it was well, a fish glad town, to be buddy. Here in Fishmouth. Not really. I don't think she has an opinion. Sure, why not? Uh, no. Okay, so this has been Coup Impact with Let's Play. I got menu eye. Gibbous, a Cthulhu adventure. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Next time, we're going to be doing Fishmouth Adventure. Here in Fishmouth, a town of fishy origin, and one or two couple of cults. You will see that we will have to climb around all over the place. Maybe meet some new people. We got old friends and new friends and even a cat. That kind of situation. So I will see you guys all next time for that. See ya!